Hi friends, today let's look at something that all of us experience without necessarily having any control on them. Our dreams. Besides the usual dreams about our loved ones or those whom we regularly interact with in our lives, we often experience nightmares. Like for instance, falling off a frightening height or falling into a deep pit. There are also some unexplainable ones like meeting a total stranger, going to an unknown town or writing an examination all over again which perhaps would be better classified as a nightmare. So then, let's seek answers to some basic questions about dreams. Some people claim that they don't dream at all. Well, it is an established fact that all of us dream, although not everyone remembers their dreams. In fact, we all dream around three to six times in a night's sleep. Most dreams last between five to 20 minutes and 95% of our dreams are forgotten by the time we get up from the bed. Generally, women dream more about family, children, and indoor settings. After falling to deep, slow wave sleep, at around the 90 minute mark, we switch to a sleep cycle characterized by rapid eye movement or REM. During REM sleep, while our body is inactive, our brains are fully active as if they have woken up. It is during this REM sleep that almost all our dreams, especially the vividly remembered ones, happen. Signals from the brain to the body are stopped by neurotransmitters, which effectively paralyze us temporarily during this phase. So while other body organs remain passive, our eyes are responsive towards the dream that we experience. And that's the reason they dart back and forth when we dream. Now most importantly, why do we dream? Scientists are yet to reach a definitive scientific explanation on why we dream. Researchers have spent long hours trying to analyze brain activity with the type of dreams that their subjects have experienced. There are several theories on this. While some say that dreams are random memories or visions, others imply there is a deeper significance for what we dream about. Sigmund Freud, the great Austrian neurologist of the 19th and 20th century and founder of psychoanalysis, says that dreams are a form of wish fulfillment and reveal a lot about a person's psyche. Harvard researchers came up with a theory that bridges the gap between science and psychology. In a study, when people were told to consciously block out thoughts about something, those very thoughts popped up in their dreams. In a way, through dreams, we deal with things in our sleep that we would rather prefer to forget while awake. Dr. Ernest Hartman of Sleep Disorder Center at Newton Wellesley Hospital in Massachusetts says our brains are constantly processing a spectrum of connections from focused moments of concentration to spaced out flashes to random events. The brain also processes various emotions ranging from simple to complex. According to Dr. Hartman, the brain's emotive center is active even while we are asleep and dreams allow us to create these connections with these events and emotions in a safe place. There is also something called a dream lag effect which explains why we dream of an incident or event that took place a week or maybe even weeks ago. Certain types of experiences take longer to be encoded in our long-term memories and hence take longer to appear in our dreams. So, can we control what we dream about? Some of you may have seen the movie Inception, where the main lead played by Leonardo DiCaprio and his team use certain drugs to induce specific dreams in people. While the movie is fiction and the level of detail and control in the movie are a bit far-fetched, the concept is not. Techniques to control or influence our dreams have worked in some experiments. 
Apparently, we can strategize to dream on a particular subject, solve a problem, or end a nightmare. In a way, this technique is used by hypnotherapists as well to change the subconscious mind of their patients. Yes, dreams help us process emotions and consolidate memories. In a study done, it was revealed that dreams also help alleviate depression. Apparently, dreaming about the cause of depression, like say a failed marriage, would help in confronting our demons and speed up the process of recovery. And finally, a bit of dreams related trivia. In a research, it was revealed that 80% of those below the age of 30 dream in color while that number drops drastically to 20% for those above the age of 60. Researchers speculated that color televisions might have had a say in this generation gap. I hope you found this information interesting. If indeed you did, then may I request you to press the like button and leave a comment on the most recurring dream you often see. I look forward to doing more videos that deal with absorbing questions from our daily life. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to walk with me in this journey of exploring captivating topics. I hope to see you soon in another video. Until then, thanks for watching.